Hi everybody, my name is Mike Montgomery and today I'm going to be showing you how I built this concrete pendant light on Modern Builds. I'm going to be using some scrap plywood that I had on hand for the form and I'm going to start by cutting three pieces to 22 and a half inches round. So I clamped my three pieces together and then used the jigsaw to cut them all out at once. This way they stayed pretty symmetrical. Then I took two of those circles and cut them down to 15 inches, making sure to save all my scraps. Once my two 15 inch circles were cut, I went ahead and attached them together using 2x4s as spacers. Now this isn't exactly pretty, but it works out really well. And once everything was screwed together, I went over to the disc sander just to make sure everything was really parallel. This is an optional step, and you don't have to do this. Then I took my leftover ring and attached it back together with some wood glue and some scrap wood. Then I took that ring along with my third circle and cut them down to 18 inches in diameter. And this time I just attached these two boards with some 1x4 scraps. And I know I'm throwing out a lot of measurements, so if you plan on building this, make sure and check out my written article, it's going to have all this information in it. And now that I had both of my pieces for my inside form done, I went ahead and put my outside form together. And for spacers, I'm using 4x4 blocks. Once I attached one side, I flipped it over and used some squares to make sure everything was as even as I could get it. So I needed something flexible that I could build the walls of the form with. So I walked around Home Depot looking for things and I found this. And what it is is actually wood paneling that you would put on your walls. It's super lightweight and super flexible so it's going to be perfect. And once I cut it to size I went ahead and used a brad nailer to attach it to my form. And once I had my whole form wrapped I used silicone caulk to fill in all of my nail holes as well as any gaps in the form. And then I just used a sander to clean everything up. And once this is all done, you should be left with a 15 inch circle, an 18 inch circle, and the outside form measuring about 22 and a half inches wide. My next step is to attach my two inside forms together. This is gonna provide a ledge for the glass to sit on as well as a recess for my LED lights. I went ahead and caulked my seam and then attached it to a piece of melamine. This is actually the same piece of melamine that I used to build my concrete coffee table. Melamine sheets are pretty expensive, but one of the good things about them if you use them with concrete is that they're reusable. And now with the form done, it was time to mix up my concrete. Now I'm using just standard concrete mix along with some charcoal pigment. Now this is going to darken the concrete just a little bit and I think give it a really cool look. In my head, I thought this was going to take a bag and a half or two bags, but it ended up taking one bag exactly, which is awesome. So once I finally got my form full, I went ahead and used a stick to kind of push the concrete around as much as possible, trying to get it in every crack that I could. And I also tried to vibrate as many air bubbles as I can by lifting up on my tabletop and moving it around as much as possible. And once I let my form dry for a few days, I went ahead and took it out of the form. Now this didn't come out as easily as I was expecting and it ended up being quite a bit of work. But with a little bit of persistence, I was able to finally get it out. I was hoping everything would just be able to slide out, but it ended up I had to take everything one piece at a time and break those brad nails and then slide everything out. Here I'm using a handsaw to actually cut my way out. <laughs> So I just used my jigsaw to make a ton of cuts into the plywood that I could eventually just kind of break apart and then just destroy the mold completely. And once I had everything out, then I was able to take out the siding. So my original intention were to actually put some hooks into the wet concrete and let them set in place, but I totally forgot to do that so I used some liquid nails and screwed these hooks in. And after I used an old beater chisel to clean up my concrete where there was a little bit of the siding left over, I realized I used way too small of hooks and they definitely weren't strong enough. So I went back to the store and got some really heavy duty hooks, along with a masonry drill bit. This is going to let me drill all the way through the concrete without cracking it. The liquid nails that I used really wasn't strong enough either, so I got some 5 minute epoxy and used that. Now just because it's 5 minute epoxy doesn't mean that's how long you have to let it set. Typically you let it set for 24 to 48 hours for full strength. And while I let that dry, I got my LED light kit from Amazon and I installed it. Now I'm going to have product links to everything in my written article as well, that way you don't have to go around looking for them. Next I got a piece of acrylic or plexiglass and used a specific jigsaw blade for plexiglass and cut it into a circle. 
Now this didn't give me the absolute cleanest cut, but it was a lot better than if I would have used a different blade. Next I wanted to diffuse the light from the LEDs, that way you wouldn't see each individual LED, so I used 220 sandpaper and sanded each side of the glass. Then I used some silicone caulk and just laid it in and let it dry. I also got some more scrap plywood and just made a top for the light, that way all the light wouldn't spill out from the top. It also gave me a place to mount all of my electronics and I just set everything in with a little bit of hot glue. That way if I needed to move things, I still could. Next I needed to cut and loop my wires that I'd be hanging the light from. This stuff is rated at 150 pounds each and I've got three steerings of it, so it should be plenty strong. And once I fed the wires through the ferrules, I just used a crimper to set it all in place. So each hook gets a strand and then they all go to one big hook that'll be attached to a stud. But for the sake of the video, I went ahead and temporarily installed it in my shop. Now I recommend getting help for this. I didn't have any, so that's why I'm hanging it by myself. But Always be safe and don't do anything you're uncomfortable with. And as a final step, I went ahead and put on a couple coats of a low gloss concrete sealer. This is just gonna keep everything protected, although it's not super necessary. Thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed this project, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. That lets me know what kind of projects y'all are into and what you might want to see next. And if this is your first time to my channel, I want to say welcome as well as please subscribe because I put out a new project video every week and you'll definitely want to stick around and check those out. And if you want to keep up with me throughout the week, Instagram is the best place to do that. That is where I post most often and definitely my favorite social media. So thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you next time on Modern Builds.